Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, up here, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Is there anything hard to understand there? The wide to hell is broad, the wide to heaven is narrow. Okay? Narrow is the way, straight is the gate, narrow is the way, that leadeth, which leadeth unto life. Not that hard to figure that out. But uh, how does the New King James Version render it? Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way, which leads to life. And few there are who find it. It's now difficult to get to heaven. I wonder if that would be because they teach over in 1 Corinthians 1.18 that you are being saved. Being saved is a difficult thing. You have to live your whole life and not mess up, you know, stay in a, die in a state of grace, the whole thing. Um, go to a regular confession, do the Eucharist and, you know, penance and all the other things that Catholics do. Sure, it's difficult. It's a difficult life. But if you're saved by grace through faith, it's not difficult. Jesus did all the work on the cross. Um, we live for him. We change our lives after we get saved, of course, obviously. Uh, there's standards of sanctification, certainly. But it's not difficult. It's not difficult. Jesus said that my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Why would you write it's difficult as the way which leads to life? Unless you're teaching work salvation.